Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install OwnCloud on your web host. This is an alternative to Dropbox, SugarSync, SkyDrive, whatever cloud storage or sync program you're using. To do this, you need access to your web host via FTP. I'm using FileZilla for this video tutorial. And my hosting company is GoDaddy.com. Even though this is a safe process, don't try this on any website you can't afford to lose, for I am not responsible for any damage to your hosting or website. I would recommend to get a separate hosting account to host your own cloud. So let's begin. In the description box, you'll find all the necessary links to video tutorials on how to get your domain name and hosting account. Head over to owncloud.org and click on Host Own Cloud Yourself. Then click on Web Installer. This will download the setup PHP. It's a very small file. It'll, it'll give you some instructions to how to go about installing OwnCloud. Just click here to download the uh, setup PHP. I'll save the file. Click on OK. It's really fast. Perfect. Just open the uh, folder location where you have that um, setup PHP here. I'm going to put it to a side and open FileZilla client to access my web host from GoDaddy. It's already pre-set up so all I need to do is click on a drop down here and select it to connect. Okay once connected all I need to do is just drag and drop that setup on cloud PHP into the root directory perfect there it is setup dash own cloud dot php now to access that all you need to do is enter your domain name forward slash setup dash own cloud dot php to enter own cloud setup perfect click on next and now it'll install on a subdirectory called OwnCloud. You can change the name if you want. I'll leave it default and click on next. Once you click on next, it'll check for dependencies. It'll take five to 10 minutes. Once it's done, this window will come up. Success, OwnCloud is now installed. So go ahead and click on next. I knew this was gonna happen. Mind your quotes is enabled. OwnCloud requires that it's disabled to work properly. This is the reason why I recommend a separate hosting account because to troubleshoot this might damage your already working money-making website. Different hosting companies requires different configuration to disable magic quotes. Since I'm using GoDaddy, I'm gonna show you guys what worked for me. So open FileZilla client and here locate your PHP INI. Now I'm gonna copy this to my desktop since I already have that folder open. I'm going to drag it there. And now let's edit that PHP. Right click the PHP, open with Notepad, and here paste the following lines. You can get these from my website, the link is in the description box below. Perfect. Once you're done, click on File and Save. Okay, now close it and rename this PHP to PHP5. Okay, now drag and drop the PHP5 to the root directory just like we did with the setup PHP of OwnCloud. Now I'll close here and go to your GoDaddy account, log in, locate your web hosting. To the right of the uh, web host name, click on launch. And now scroll down until you see system processes. Click that. Now locate your PHP files, select them, and click on 
and web click OK now go back to your own cloud here refresh and everything should work fine perfect now create an admin account finish setup and now everything should work properly but because it's me it has to come up with more errors no input files specified that's good because we can troubleshoot this with you guys so again open FileZilla uh, connect to your web host open the PHP 5 INI and edit so just right click edit and here we're going to add one more line the reason why I didn't add this at the beginning is because we don't want to add unnecessary lines to this uh, PHP 5 CGI dot fix underscore path info equals one file save close the notepad upload this file back to the server yes perfect now let's see if we refresh we might get lucky but no now go back to system processes on GoDaddy and here I'll refresh because I can't see my PHP 5 here they are select it and web OK now go back to your own cloud here refresh and everything should work fine perfect just like I thought it would now the welcome to own cloud uh, window here will come up now you can select whether you want to connect to it via desktop app Android or iPhone app you can also access it via WebDAV but for this tutorial I'm gonna download the uh, desktop app perfect now download the latest 1.5 I'll save the file now this takes a long time so I just fast forward the process and open the uh, the location of the executable file there it is I'll run it this is really simple next next install finish and finish done now enter the uh, server address which is your domain name forward slash and the own cloud directory just like you see here replace our errors.es with your host name go ahead and click on next enter the username and password that we use to set it up now this is the uh, local folder connect which is in your computer and now you can access own cloud or your local folder from here I'm just gonna click on finish good everything is done now if we go to own cloud here I'll close the, uh, this window we have no files because we haven't added any but if we go to the folder similar to Dropbox here it is own cloud folder whatever we add here we can sync it with the uh, phones laptop etc you can also use it as a backup in this case I'm going to use a, a word document and instead of refreshing or going there I'm going to open the uh, desktop app and here you can see the activity that's already synced also you can add a folder you can choose whatever you want you can play around with this let me know how it goes uh, especially if you have any questions please put it in the comment section below my name is Miguel thank you for watching